In this video, we will be installing the FlexGo MHS Heavy Duty Secondary Cleaner. Before starting the installation, we will confirm that we have all of our cleaner components, the mounting bolt kit, the IOM packet, and all of the required tools. Then once the conveyor is physically locked and tagged out, we can begin the installation. So now that we've got the conveyor locked and tagged out, and we've found a location for our cleaner, we're ready to start the installation. To speed up the installation, make it easier to, to install our tensioner, we're going to use the standard mounting bracket. When installing the mounting bracket, you want to make sure that the bracket is perpendicular to the belt surface, straight with the conveyor, as well as plumb. Once we've secured our bracket, we're going to take a measurement from a fixed point on the structure to our bracket. Here we're at three inches. We're going to transfer that mark to the other side so our mounting bracket over there is in the same exact location. Now we need a belt reference mark from the belt over to our bracket. We can use our level, apply light upward pressure onto the belt to remove any cupping, level it, mark it, and now that's where our belt line is in reference to our bracket. We can take a measurement here from where we mounted our bracket down to that. We're at four inches. So we can transfer that line down and mount our offside tensioner. Since we have access over here, this is the side we're going to insert the pole from. Take a measurement here between our brackets, and it looks like it's going to be the pole is going to be too long to have both tensioners in place to install it. So we install the offside bracket, insert the pole, and then put on our tensioner on this side. So now that we have the tensioner bolted up on the offside, we're ready to install the pole. You will have to hold the pole up on this side while you put the tensioner on. One easy way to do that is using a pull strap. In this case, we have plenty of room for this to be in the pull-up position. This tensioner is reconfigurable to be in the push-up position if needed. We want the top flange to line up with the mark we made earlier for the belt line. Now that we've got our tensioner secured, we can release the strap. Now we've got our tensioner mounted and our pole installed. Now we're ready to set up the blade angle and center the cleaner to the belt. Back right towards me. 
a little bit. Okay, good. Now to set up the blade angle, we can use the supplied gauge. If you've got a single direction belt, we use the standard side. If you have a reversing belt, we'd flip that. So here, the MHS standard side, we're gonna have the front of this touching the power flex cushion and the top should be parallel to the belt. Towards the head a little bit. Okay, good. Now we can lock it into place. All right, got this side. Lock the set screws and then the lock nuts. Now we're ready to set up the spring tensioner. The first step you want to do is loosen up the top hat bolts here. What that's going to do is allow the top hat to float on the tensioner base. That's going to allow the spring and the rod to find center as we adjust it up. Now we're ready to adjust the cleaner up. Our spring length should be with 36 inch belt, silver springs, three and three quarter inch. Okay, once we've got that set, we want to look to see that our sleeve is exposed at least an inch, inch and a half below the lower bushing. Once that is confirmed, we can lock that in place. Make sure that the cleaner bounces freely and we can top tighten the top hat bolts back down. Final step, wanna make sure that our top jam nut is secured. Now we're set up and ready to go.